is a song from my uh, current solo album, <laughs> which isn't really current anymore. It's been about three years, I think. Um, and uh, it's a bit of a retrospective. Um, there's, I found in my loft uh, um, some tape, I uh, know, a CD of uh, a Paul Jones radio show that I'd done with um, Long John Baldry when I was back in him. My wife was his uh, European agent for the last ten years of his life or so, and, and one time couldn't get the guitarist he wanted. And so I did it. <laughs> and it was uh, great fun, and I stayed with him for the until he died in, in, in uh, doing UK gigs and with the wonderful Butch Coulter on harmonica. And we did a fantastic gig for Monica at where was it? Little Cup. Little Cup. Yeah. yeah. When who was it? Farlo dropped out. We put yeah. And. Uh, he wanted a band, so it was me, Butch, and Baldry. But he wanted a band, so we put most of the Dave Kelly band, Pete Emery on guitar, and uh, my son Sam on drums. And no rehearsal, we just did it. It was it was fantastic. I just wish somebody had recorded it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I found this CD of a, a truck stuff I'd done for Paul's program with Long John and next to it was some stuff I'd done with Eric Bibb when he was opening for the blues band in 1997. We did a whole tour and he was the opening act and I went out and played with him most nights. And we did a thing at the radio and then stuff that I was working with on with Joanne and we were trying to do an album together before she got too ill and, um, and this sort of concept began to develop, I think. So I sorted out what else I had with people I played with, Chris, and then I rang a few friends and uh, got Chris Barber and Sonny Black and Jonah Louie and Christine Collister and Maggie Bell and Paul James. And, uh, so there's, it, it, they're all guests on it. And the, the song I'm going to do you now is a uh, song called Passing Through. It's one of mine that I wrote. 1970, I remember. And it's uh, on here, it's with a band called Rock Salt that we had, which was short lived um, in 1970 or So after I left the John Dummer band, and uh, Rock Salt was a sort of country rock band, we were years ahead of our time. So far ahead of our time, we didn't get a record deal. So. <laughs> But um, David Bowie's management were interested in us, and this was a demo we did for them, but it never got any further than that. So. But it's a demo. And uh, our friend Keith Nelson, a wonderful banjo player, said, uh, he said, I've got the demo that we did with Roxanne. He said, that'd be great for that album. I said, oh yeah, good idea. And I got it, and it was an acetate, and put it on your My uh, recording engineer, Bill Godier, said, I can clean that up a bit, you know, put it through this process and that process, and he cleaned it up, and it all came out quite clean, but the vocal more or less disappeared. So I double-tracked my vocal. 45 years later, <laughs> it worked, it's, yeah. you can't spot it. Although, a little bit, the 45-year-old one has a bit more gravitas, I think. So it's all passing through, and it's, uh, it's the same. There's another story there, but this will get into the length of the Paul Jones introduction if I don't stop seeing it lately. <laughs> so, I'll do it. Oh, 